Welcome back. We're back now. You played the original Masters of Magic. Damn. Well, how how old are you? Oh, it's Master of Magic. I thought it was Masters of Magic. Francais, Espanol, Dutch, oh, I don't know, English, Editor, Hall of Fame, ain't got no Hall of Fame, Evil Pentagram, of the Devil, New Game, Your Wizard, Party gold, give me 160. AI skill? I don't know. Skill? Three AI wizard. Uh, medium, small. Two. Easy. At a starting hero, Bashan. There's only one starting hero. Presets. So I put it somewhat harder. Okay. Uh, battle movement cost. Uh, select wizard. Merlin. Quintessential gray wizard. Specializes in nature and life. Got five life spell books, six nature spell books, six, six life, six nature, raven. Nature and sorcery. This guy's better than Merlin. Shari. Death and Chaos. Ooh. Chaos and Death. She's accomplished Voodoo Priestess. Cheated Death many times over. Powerful Conjurer. Low Pan. Oh, shit. Motherfucking Big Trouble with Little China. Low Pan is a Wu Shen master who specializes in chaos and sorcery through ancient techniques. Lopan seeks knowledge and understanding of the inner self as a channeler. Lopan has developed the ability to channel magic power directly from his location in the enchanted fort fortress to his troops on the battlefield. His ability allows him to bypass, bypass paying higher mana rates for casting combat outside of his fortress. Booba are covered? Or Booba weren't covered in the first game? Jafar. Oh, shit. Fucking Aladdin. He's just full on fucking sorcery. Jafar's travel one visage is like a mirage. What is his true face? Oberic. Chaos of Nature. Rajak. Rajak. Death magic, pure death. Sar, sra, 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 sra. Dragon, warlock, chaos and life. Tauron, demon, being, full on chaos. Okay, full on forest. Freya. Freya. Forest. Sorcery and life. Ariel. Ariel. High Priestess Life. Talak. Death and Nature. And Super Hottie. 
Kali. Kali Ma. Mystical Witch. Death and Sorcery. Kali Ma. Yeah, the art is pretty good. I would say either Kali. Uh, chat, make a poll. Somebody do a poll. Let's put in uh, Lopan. Uh, Kali. And one other. What do you, what do you think? Lopan, Kali. Or... I guess Merlin. Uh, or Thra. Yeah, let's do the traditional one. So Merlin, Lopan, or Kali. Do that. Thra starts on the other plane. Uh, does it say that? Yeah, there it is. They begin the game on Mer, Mer My Roar. My Roar. Channeler. Myron. My girl Kali, 100%. How did I know that you like Kali? God, I. She hot. Slammed off. And slammed off is getting slammed. Little pan. Sorcery and chaos. And Kali is death and sorcery. So basically between death or chaos. She's the hotter and he's the cool cool guy. You gonna bounce? Go see the movie. Tell me what you think. Joe Dog, I expect to know what you think. Do you agree with Alex and OJ? Or do you agree with me? Kali is going to win. Boom. Kali. I'd have voted for either one. I, when I want to play a dude, I'll go Lopan. When I want to play a girl, I'll go Kali. So those were my two top picks. Perfect. Let's go. She's an artificer. A master of the magical forge. An, artisif an artificer. Reduces the cost of making magical items by 50%. You also begin the game with an enchanted item and create artifact spells. So I can choose what... Can I do any of these? Skeletons, Black Sleep, Life Drain, Terror, Mana Leak, Darkness. You know what? Okay, well, I guess I can't get any uncommon for some reason. I mean, maybe I have to get rid of all of them? No. Uncommon spells are not available for your wizard because your wizard does not have enough spell books in this realm. To select from uncommon, you need at least 10 spell books. Oh. 11 spell books for rare. So if we had gone with one of the hardcore guys, like say, for example, fucking this chaos guy, and we went in, then we can get uncommon rare. He's just so powerful. 
in that side. But I think you can level up your wizards. Weird that once the music plays, it just fucking stops. I'm having to play my own music in the background. That was so weird. So they need to, I don't know, put that music on a loop. Because it's just dead quiet. Oh, there's a second page. Uh, this one, I guess, is the this type of magic. Phantom Warriors, Confusion, Counter, Nagas. Not gonna work here no more. Summon a pair of Trident Wielding. Immune Wandering Island. Summons a Wandering Island that can be used to transport unit over land and the sea. It cannot fight. It will be destroyed. That sounds pretty useful. Counter Battle. Focus your power and tries to counter them. All enemy spells cast in a combat must resist being dispelled. I don't know. I kind of want some Nagas. I like Guardian. We Guardian. Immune to arrows and slings. Psionic Blast projects a blast of piercing pain towards an enemy target. Five strength. Illusionary attack plus one strength for every mana spent. Psionic Blast. Well, I'm summoning ghosts and skeletons already, so I guess, I guess we won't get any Nagas. Darn it. Well, maybe we'll get rid of ghouls. No zombies, please. Yeah, because she actually had black sleep. I accidentally clicked ghouls. It's black sleep. And, um, you want Nagas? Do we need a wandering island? A wandering island sounds, you know, pretty helpful. But I don't know if we need to go. I don't know if we ever need to transport. What is happening? Am I... Is my thing flashing? I guess I'm going to go Nagas instead of the Wandering Island. No. Wandering Island. God, these are all cool spells, so that, uh, that's encouraging that uh, I don't know what to pick. Select a race and banner. Oh, okay, so I'm not a, I'm not a specific race. Where did the music go? Fuck this. All right. I could be Barbarians. I could be Gnolls. Oh, cool. Canines. Doggies. Good boys. Halflings. High elves. High men. Racial unit. Paladins. Racial unit. Wolf rider. That could be bugs. Clackons. Stag beetle. High men. Numenorians. I wish. Is it me or am I seeing? Is something going on with the screen? Do you guys see that? It like flashes or something? Maybe I'll go to game capture instead. All right, y'all. If y'all, oh, lizard men. These are cool. A dragon turtle and a javelinier. All these races are cool. Griffins. Oh man. Orcs, wyvern riders. Wow. The only lame ones are the halflings. Berserkers. Do I? I okay. I like in the game. This looks cool. Griffins, why do orcs look like pigs? Yeah, well, can't get them all right. Demon piggies. I think I want to be wolves. Oh, no, growth rate slow. Negative 10 people per turn. No, 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 no. Not while I'm trying to learn. Regular growth rate. Lizardmen. Fast. Slow. Slow. Regular. Let's go fast. Plus one armor. Plus one hits. Building restriction. Cannot build miners guilds. Sawmill. Forest guilds. 
this guild's that guild's that guild's that <laughs> way oh shit so very 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 simple technologies we gotta go red and black I wish the flags changed according to which faction you are because it doesn't really make sense that all these races are just using the same flag that would be cool if they could they can get that in there um do you think that limits my buildings way too much? Fuck it. We're going in. I'm wondering when the music is going to come back. She kicks high. Make a movie of this. And the music's back. I welcome you, Ka. Oh, great, Kali. Oh, get a little kitty. Metans! If you could spare a moment of your time for your lowly servant. He's our servant. I would like to present to you the world manipulators are prepared for your arrival. Turn on tutorials, yeah. Thank you, your magnificence. I will only take a moment. Move the map with this. Or with this. Oh, I can't move the map with my mouse. Uh, I have to do WASD. Okay. Left click to select a unit or location. Right click to move. Do we go right? Do we go left? We go left. We're gonna hop on these mountains. Our lizardmen. Each army will ask for orders every turn, so if you want... This is music's a little loud. Testing, testing. Wow, kind of loud music. Uh, e tell them to wait or guard. Double click on your city to view it and manage its production. Let's do that now. Sawtooth River is our city. Okay, first things first. I have to know, can you rename things in the game? This is the very first thing I ask all the time in these types of games. I see a quill. <gasps> all right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now, can you name units? That we'll have to figure out next, but we're still in the tutorial. This, your excellence, is your glorious town. I will quickly show you around if you allow. Global taxes and unrest let you decide how high the taxes are for all the towns. High taxes yields more gold, but also unrest. Ha unhappy citizens turn into rebels and do not work. 20% of people are unhappy with it. 30%. 20%. This section shows you all your towns along with the current production. Gold, population, unrest. Gold, population, unrest. Food, something, defense here you can find units that are currently stationed in the town it's a good idea to keep some defenders your capital is conquered you lose it all the citizens panel allows you you may lose it all the citizens panel allows you to assign jobs to this town's population any non-rebelling citizen who is not a worker will default to a farmer i got two farmers i got two workers no rebels this section allows any resources in the town's catchment area. These resources provide various bonuses and is always good to have. Well, I guess I don't have any catchments. I mean, this gold looks like it could be a nearby resource. This panel shows you the construction queue of the town. Production speed depends on your production points. Uh, a little hammer generated by your citizens. 
You can also use gold to speed things up. So we are building a house. Focus on building additional housing in the city and therefore allowing for greater growth. Effects. Increases the city's population growth rate. Uh, all right. Oops. How do I go down? Oh, I just take it from somewhere else. Buildings. Whoa. Artwork. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on. But okay. Double click on your city to view it. Let's do that now. I already did that. Oh shit. Did I fuck something up? Construction. This place allows you to set up construction. Pick from either buildings on the left or units on the right. Focusing on... Uh, yeah, I don't know what I need. I guess a marketplace? Lizard Spearman. Lizard Swordsman. Let's get some Swordsmen first. Some Shamans. You will run my library? Where's the library? Oh, shit. The library acts as a storehouse for knowledge and scholarship and the first stepping stone towards greater wisdom effects. Adds plus two research. Okay. Uh, where'd my research at? Got fame, got food, got mana, uh, losing gold. I am losing gold. All right, I think we're good on this right now. I don't. Um, research available. Spells are an essential part of your fight for arcane supremacy. You are to become a master of magic, after all. To expand your spell selection, you need to do research. The selection is limited to eight spells, but new ones will become available as you progress. Remember, the spell of mastery is your final goal, and it will only appear after you researched most of your other spells. Acquiring new spell books will give you new spells to research. Research takes time. How much depends on the number of research points you produce and the spell's complexity. More powerful spells usually take longer. Now, select the spell from the left page. Click the research button to confirm. Uh, I thought I already had these. I guess I have to research some of these things. But... But I thought I already had them. Fifty five turns. Jeez. Let's try something quicker. Uh, ten turns. Dispel magic. True. Dispel magic true. It's more powerful? Why does it take your research? I'm in the Marvel Snap category. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, updated. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. These things are glowing. Uh, press F8 to report a bug. 
this little pop-up window can showed up under my thing. Cast spells. This book contains all the spells you have learned so far, oh wise one. It may be a lot of page flipping to find the spell you're looking for, but you can view spells from a specific domain. Just use these bookmarks. In order to cast a spell, first select it from the left page. If casting can be performed, you will see the cast button here. Some spells can only be cast while on the world map, others only during combat. This is indicate here, world or combat. Casting requires magical energy called mana. Each spell costs mana to cast, and some effects need mana to each turn for upkeep. On the world map, casting time depends on your casting skill. The higher the skill, the more mana you can spend each turn. With a high enough skill, even some world spells can be cast instantly. In combat, casting is always instant, but your casting skill limits how much mana can be spent during the entire encounter. Alright, I, I guess we can get the Wandering Island, or do we need to... Oh, we can make some skeletons. Why does it feel like these are none of the spells that I picked? Interesting. I'm going to cast skeletons. Which one is being researched? No, I can't research. Okay, I guess that's already being researched. Okay. Um, gold is used for unit upkeep. Why does this thing keep popping up? Press F8 to report a bug. I don't want to report a bug. Go away. Yes. Oops. Uh, taxes, upkeep. Negative four. Wizard info. The mirror shows the most important information about you, oh great wizard. Traits which are your special abilities are displayed here. New traits can sometimes be acquired as treasure from clearing out very difficult locations. Your spell books, which allow you to research and cast spells from their corresponding domains, are here. These two can be obtained from treasure. If you'd like to know how your power compares to your rival wizards, click the history button. You can only see the power of wizards you have already met. The victory section will show you your progress towards claiming the title of Master of Magic and thus winning the game. Unknown, unknown, or research and cast the spell of mastery. Eliminate all rivals, or cast the spell of mastery. History, no other people met. I have zero fame, eight mana, and 160 gold. I'm an art artificer. Cities. Here you can view at a glance all the towns that belong to you. When you click on a town, you can view its location in the world, as many in, as well as enhancements that may affect it. Angry Army HQ. Your fortress is located in the city. If you lose it, you will be banished or defeated. So you you can't. So as the thing said before, you can't lose your capital. This is. I thought maybe you might be able to lose your capital and then just like take it back. This is where your summoning circle is located and where summon units will appear. The location of your summoning circle can be changed by casting the summoning circle spell. <laughs> cool. Managed by a familiar. Your familiar shall manage the town production. They will build the strongest available defensive unit if the current unit count is lower than one available food process. Building if the town has more than 50% population as farmers and econom economic food buildings as long as your population is lower than five. Then any cheapest available building you may... You may add or change your own. So I'm, I better not turn on the familiar because I'm trying to learn how to manage my own city. Then I can, okay. Next screen, armies. I got swordsmen and I got settlers. Here you can view all the armies that serve under your banner, hired heroes and unused magical items. To select an army to see where it's located Select an army, see where it's located in the world. I want to split the settlers from these swordsmen. I think they've already moved, so I'm going to have to wait a turn. 
Bro, this shit's annoying. That little pop-up is annoying. Just it, I don't want to report any bugs. Shut the fuck up. I don't have a bug yet. Magic. This area lets you assign your power points, view enhancements, and use alchemy to turn your mana into gold. Vice versa. These vials, your greatness, show what proportion of your power is used for each purpose. Increasing your mana reserve. Researching spells or improve your casting skill. You may always adjust these proportions by clicking on the vials. Clicking on the padlock will lock the value in place. Both you and your rivals will likely cast various enchantments affecting units, towns. You can view those here. Most enchantments that you control cost you mana each turn to upkeep, but you can cancel them. If you have a surplus of gold or mana, alchemy allows you to turn one into the other. Gold and mana. Mana. Research. Casting skill. Power. Comes from your fortress, spell books, magic nodes, religious towns, some races, townsfolk. Okay. Diplomacy. Ain't got nobody to talk to. Mirror, mirror on the wall. So this game is very <laughs> fairy tale like. Chat suggests in the beginning usually lowering a bit of skill and increasing research can help you learn spells faster. I guess I'll lower a bit of skill and increase research. Casting skill. This is going to take me seven turns. This is going to take me one. Summoning to Angry Army Headquarters. Transmuting gold to mana. Game options. Report a bug. This is the thing that keeps popping up. Okay, the unturned button's kind of integrated there. Okay. Holy shit! Skeletons summoned. I see you've already found the unturned button, Your Grace, but there are still a few useful manipulators I wanted to bring to your attention. First, Surveyor. This handy tool will tell you all about the tile you hover over. Press Tab to access it quickly. What? You should also know how to switch your view between Arcanus and Mayor. Press P or use this button. I think, I think this is a bug. Your goal is to become the master of magic. To do that, you need to either eliminate rival wizards or be the first to cast a spell of mastery. If you need more details about a particular item, just hover your wand over it and press right. P. P. It didn't think that the city screen would be open. Alt. What was it? What was it? Tab. Stop. Press F8 to report a bug. Stop it. Do not fucking pop up again. I see the thing here. The fucking thing. Shut the fuck up. Grassland, grassland, hill. Unsuitable town site. There's an existing gold. Provides plus five gold to the nearby town. Can be changed into an iron ore. Movement. 
Ancient temples or relics, re relics of ages past devoted to the worship of some unknown deities. Now seemingly abandoned and yet still beaming with old power. Beware, this place may be guarded. Beware, this place may be guarded. Enter. The temple is unguarded and ready to expose its buried secrets to you. 60 gold. I see. They could be guarded. The report of bug pop out is getting removed in the next patch. Kuno no Oni, how'd you know that? You looked it up on Steam, my brand, my friend. Thank you for the info, appreciate it. Should I be casting more spells? Let's get some more skeletons. Let's get a spirit. Cast. Another ancient temple. I was in the beta. They let us know they're fixing it. Uh, now seemingly abandoned. Beware, this place may be guarded. Tempo is unguarded. Mana gain, 14. Uh, so, let me use my mana on. Oh my god. You piece of shit. Uh, I'll have a new swordsman in two turns to build my army up. We are continuing to explore for our intim enemy. Oh my god. Why would they leave? Does that happen every game? Why do they think that's a good idea? Ancient temples are relics. Now see, okay. So basically, it's guarded. This one is unguarded. 20 mana. I'm getting lucky on those. I come bearing gifts. I offer you a magic spirit. They're great scouts. And once you conquer a power node, you may meld with it and provide power for you. If you accept, I shall give you the spirit. Or consider your choices and choose another. Choices. Take the spirit. Take the gold. Take the mana. I'll take the spirit. I was about to get a spirit anyway. Look at this army. Two magic spirits and swordsmen. These are no mere ruins. This is an old dungeon. Who knows what dark secrets may hide beneath. But beware, there may be many dangers lurking in the dark. In the deep parts of the dungeon, you find some precious items. Accept what you got so far and leave or check your choices to explore further. We got 13 gold. Or we can... Continue exploring. Oh, shit! I see you're considering a skirmish, Master. Excellent. Let me tell you what to expect. You and your opponent's forces are shown here. You can view each unit's strength by hovering your wand over it. Here you can see the odds that I think you, oh great one, have in this battle. Consider your chances and decide what to do now. Take command over your units personally. Let, let me lead your forces or do not engage. 100% total defeat. <laughs> Your army will lose this battle. And there will be no survivors. Zombies. Doom bats. Fire elemental. Skeletons. Uh, I mean, there's no... There's, there's no chance I'll win. So, three, five, and five. And this is three... 12, 10, 4, 6, health 10, health 20, health 10, health 10, health 2, health 10. I don't know. Why do I feel like I have a chance?
The Doom Bat kills your dooms here. The rest is doable. Doom Bat. What is all these little icons above? Doom Bat is uh, 10, 5, 9, 20. 5, 5, 9, 20. He can solo my entire army. Alright, All right, well, I guess we will not engage. Master, we have found a power node. What are those, you ask? God. Damn it. Magic Nodes is a place full of magical power. Whoever controls it can tap into the power to gain it for themselves. Node come in three varieties, nature, chaos, sorcery, and are always protected by magical creatures and spell barriers of their domain. To conquer a neutral node, you first need to defeat its protectors and then perform a special action called melding. Only two creatures can meld, magic spirit and guardian spirit. These can be summoned with the appropriate spell. Be aware that even a melded node can still be taken over by a rival wizard's spirit. Twelve something? Masters, your town did not produce enough food to sustain all your units. Perhaps you can reassign workers to produce more food. If you continue, some units will abandon you. I have negative one food. I guess we go... Food and no workers. 48 turns for the marketplace. Maybe we need to build something different. the city population why is it has an infinity okay hmm. uh, seems relatively simplistic yeah I'm what June 1400. God damn it, these things are slow. They're literally only moving one space at a time. Fallen temples are remnants of ancient places. They were once defiled by some dark influence and thus have fallen into disrepair of clay. This place may be guarded. Holy fucking shit. A unicorn. Familiar says, Master, if you let me command your troops, these are the outcomes I predict. 30% win. Negligible losses. 70% total defeat. What? Command personally. I see if you've chosen to lead your troops personally, oh great one. A few words of advice, if I may. What the fuck? Oh shit. Defending group is on the left, attacking group on the right. Defenders always go first and they win if they are not defeated in 50 turns.
I'm gonna do an 11 damage psionic blast. Oh shit, I killed a unicorn. Blast them. Wizards can participate in the battle. Wizards that participate in the battle can spell, cast spells once per turn. You can do that. Sometimes enemy forces can be too strong. It may be wise to retreat. Be warned that, it, that escaping may also result in heavy losses. If you'd like to get detailed information, click on it. Um, <clears throat> Unicorns. Melee. Natural and enchanted weapons. Plus two hit chance. Poison immunity. Teleporting. Resist to all. Resist to all. 75% total unit health. Single column. So I used up all my casting skill. Report a bug. All right, how do I end the turn? End the turn. Uh, oh shit, it teleported. Your turn. Okay. Uh Four for one. Four for three. Oh, six for two. Figures represents the number of individual characters or entities. Any missing figures will reduce the combat effectiveness. Missing figures will gradually recover. Between. So my magic does not come back. Ah. Oh. No. No. Fucking unicorn destroyed my whole army. I was so close, too. <laughs> Why is it green and, and sparkly? God damn. Okay. Oh, okay. Mana lost 22. I lost to a horse. My whole army obliterated. Um, Jesus Christ. I guess I'm gonna need some nagas. I'm not gonna work here no more. Too slow. To spell magic true. This world is too large.
dungeon. Unexplored. Yeah, one unit of skeletons is not gonna... I've got a settler, and I guess I, you can settle. We can now research something else. Dark rituals. Doubles the religious power. Or doubles religious buildings. Uh, ghouls. Four. Nagas. Four. They're not very powerful. Confusion. Confusion. Wait, Phantom Warriors. No. Confusion. The temple is abandoned. 40 gold. Zero. I'm actually surprised there isn't a hot seat option for this or multiplayer. Yeah, the multiplayer, oh, it's a bummer that there's no multiplayer. Uh, what am I building here? I'm just building housing. And I'm still trying to build that marketplace. I don't even know if I'm fucking doing good. Move army. See, I want this settler to separate. Build a city over here and we can get this gold. I think that's why that, that army was moving so slow. Because I had that fucking settler. So if I go right here and then build an outpost. The location you have chosen for your new town is not valid. New towns must be built at least five tiles away from existing towns. One, one, two, three, four, five. What? Is this somehow a tile? And then the... Maybe a neutral town somewhere? What is this? Tower of Nature Wizardry. Unsuitable town site is occupied. What? There is a neutral town nearby. I don't believe so. We've got to explore. See where this damn neutral town is. Five spaces away, my ass. Five spaces away. One, two, three, four, five.
Hey! Okay, so I couldn't bit it down there, so maybe it's within five down there. Shatterod, Shatterod mud. What? No. It's a terrible name. Just, just shatter mud. Any newly found settlements are initially outposts, but need some time to evolve to become a town. Until then, you cannot assign production orders. How quickly an outpost becomes a town depends on the terrain. Nearby resources, a bit of luck. Progress shown is here. It's, keep wi it's wise to keep some defenses. Undefended towns are easy prey for bandits and rival wizards. Ancient towers of wizardry stand untouched. Abandoned, yet white with power, they serve as portals between connected worlds. What the fuck? A huge war bear. Cockatrice. Two sprites. Yeah, no, I don't want to fight. Uh, so far, it's pretty simple, simplistic. This is, I think, one of your... This is like, sort of like an introductory 4X type of game. Now, granted, it is based on... Uh, how old is the original? Like, um, you know, 20-year-old? Uh, some, somebody look up how old the original is. Yeah, lizardman, swordsman, swordsman. 1994. Do the math on that for me. Skeletons are summoned. What is this? Abandoned keep. Twenty-eight years ago? Is this a twenty-eight year old game? Holy shit. God, I feel old. That's what I said, God I Fucking hell. That's um that's 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 the thing, yeah. Everything is so powerful. <laughs> you don't have a massive army stack. Dungeon. Yeah, you don't have to have a massive army stack for anything. And like, I'm not feeling the economy side too strongly. Yeah, plus, plus two. I, do, I need this town to grow. Like it. I mean, it's fine. It's just that there are other 4X games out there right now that I would probably rather play. But I've not yet fully come to grasp with all the mechanics, so I'm gonna can keep playing and give it more time. Unsuitable. It's a nature node. I don't uh, want to fight that. I just need a massive, massive army. Price point is a harder ask. Yeah, see, so it's like, um, how much is this? I think it's 30, or is it 40? 30 or 40, one of those. Yeah, 40, and it's single player only, so a little bit of a tough, tougher ass. Beware, this place may be guarded. Holy Jesus Christ. Four spirits. <laughs> like all of my armies don't, don't engage. 
Don't engage. Even if I combined all of my armies together into one massive army, I think I'd be getting my ass kicked left and right. So you really just got to sit in your town and kind of build the hell up. Cast a spell. I thought we were doing something. Mana. Magical energy used to cast spells. Six plus two. Casting skill. How much mana can be spent on this turn? Twenty-two. Make more skeletons. Okay, so there's little 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 points of interest on the map that earn you free currency. Free resources of a particular type. Here's a what the neutral town board get orcs. It's orcs. They're independent. They have a builder's hall. Is a core building where your workers may gain knowledge of the craft. Adds fifteen percent to housing. Then there's like these little houses, and then there's a barracks. Core military buildings unlocks unit, and there's a smithy. Can I conquer this town? I'm going to need uh, a small force. Maybe I will make that my first goal. Let's scout around them. Let's see if I can reach them from this side. Conquer them. Skeleton summon. I can combine these two armies. It's time to bring these skeletons up here. It's time to combine these two armies. All right, we're gonna make our first attack. We're gonna combine all of the shit that I've got going now and try to take them on. Two more turns for my marketplace. Okay, I'm getting it, getting it. You're excellent. As your advisor, I feel obligated to point out that some of your towns are not defended. Uh, even in peaceful times, there may be bandits running around. If another army marches into an undefended town, it is immediately lost. Consider training a unit or summoning a magical creature to provide defense. Sometimes even a single unit with the help of your powerful spells can prevent a disaster. No, I'm fine. I'll see it coming. I hope. One more turn. And then we build houses? No. We build shamans. Magical range. This built in one turn? Holy fuck. No, nine turns. And if we reduce, increase the workers, seven turns. But this would be six turns, but we are losing food. So plus one food here. Okay, very simplistic, but that lets you focus on the fighty bits. Okay, combine these two armies.
six turns to get there. Four turns to get there. I can cast some spells. My mana is 48. Let's make a wandering island. You're running out of gold, but may have a surplus of mana. Why not turn one into the other? I could turn mana in, or gold into mana. Gold and mana are needed to upkeep your buildings and units. Running out of either means losses. Head on over to your magical panel to transmute your surplus resource. Can I go this way? Transmute gold to mana. I don't think I can go mana to gold. Gold to mana. Transmute mana to gold. Oh, okay. Gold to mana. I don't need to. Floating island summoned. Where's my floating island? <laughs> Look at this. What? <laughs> what a crazy ass unit. Oh, that's funny. I'm gonna use it as a transport to get these guys there quicker, maybe. What the hell is this dark and darker? That's the second question. You better be a different person asking me. Are you in charge of this game? Are you in charge of the marketing for this game? An unforgiving hardcore fantasy first person uh, dungeon PV, PVE. Band together with your friends, use your <gasps> Ooh. That kind of sounds like Marauders, only medieval Marauders. That'd be pretty sick. Is it medieval Marauders? If it is, I'm into it. Yeah, this is the game I was telling you about earlier. When is it coming? The playtest is out now. Like, what do you mean? Are you in it? Well, I'll request access. It's free this week. Well, maybe me and Zero can play it? Alright, hold on. What do I have to do? You can get access? Um... Why am I stuck in this loop? Access granted. Welcome to the playtest. Oh shit. Fourth quarter of 2023. Oh man. Gotta fucking wait that goddamn long. Shit. Well. Alright. Who else are we gonna get to play with us? They have played this every couple months or so. What? My mana? Oh no. What is going on? Is it because I summoned this fucking island? I'm gonna need a fucking transmute. Is 
Zonk available. Time looks fun. I don't know. I don't know where Duck is. Still haven't requested. Still haven't requested the access yet. Why don't you request access, Flippy? If you get it, and Zero's got it, and I got it, and Dr. Evil's got it, or God Eye, we can get God Eye if she's into it. I don't know if she's into it or not. Alright, we're about to do a battle, though. Big floating island is uh <laughs> can I help transport these units I need to see it yeah I need flippies flippies I know the accent is better than mine yeah I know yeah yeah you're, you're a girly man it's two two turns How do I get these guys to board my island? Oh, sh there's skeletons and swordsmen on my island. That's kind of cool. I gotta admit, this has a sim simplistic charm. All right. Ooh, my island dropping off an army. All right, I think that's the biggest army I can get for right now. I mean, obviously we're gonna we can get a bigger one. But it's gonna take forever. Now that I know how to play, uh, the shamans just showed up, but I think I can take them. There was like three orcs, and then there's five units there. I mean, honestly, if I want, I can pretty quickly break my island. Get maybe one more, you know, oh, seven turns for the shaman. Nah, let's just attack. Let's see what combat's like. All right, what's it say here? Put that cookie down. You want me to stop playing Midnight Suns? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Get to the island. I have the game downloaded, so we have to wait for Flippy's possible iffy internet. I just want a Midnight Suns review for all the possible skits of ongoing dates with Wolverines and others. Okay, files prepping for install. Okay. That's cool. Who's gonna be our fourth? Dr. Evil? Or God I Moving up. It's only three. Ah, I thought it was four. Skill research confusion. All right, well we got flip being zero then. I played, but I gotta make some dinner. What you gonna make? All right, first battle. Here we go. Let's see, let's check this out. Uh, master, if you let me command your troops, ah, uh, these are the outcomes I predict. Win with some small losses, a hundred percent. If I just let him allow your familiar to use mana to increase your chance of victory. Even if I uncheck that, still 100% victory. But I'd like to command personally to see what it's like. Tried to ask me on the, in the first place. The Omni? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you, you see these things and you're like, what? What is this? What is this? What is this? The old man. That's the old man brain. What are you showing me? I don't understand. Leave me alone. Army infantry to the front. Ooh. 
Life drain. Drains the life out of the enemy. Cast. Resist lower and confirm. <laughs> Holy shit. Skeletons attack! Minimal losses. So, boar gut orcs. Population 7,973 orcs, three buildings. Master, you have conquered this hamlet. Now you can decide its fate. Raise it to the ground for negative two fame and 76 gold, or keep it. Comes under my control for 53 gold. Well, based upon that, I'm going to choose keep. Now, if you look at my empire, I have three cities. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay. I got the gist of this one. Very, very simple 4X. Uh, harkens back to the classic Master of Magic. 25 years ago, tw 21 years ago, 1994, 26 years ago. <laughs> it's a damn shame there's no multiplayer to it, but this is one of those you can relax to. I think there are better 4Xs out there, but um, you won't find fucking units like this. Floating islands. <laughs> And there are so many choices of wizards and so many units. I think there's like over 200 units. So that's what makes this one unique and makes this one worth checking out. A um, little pricey right now, though. It's like $40. I'd probably wait for this one to go on sale. Uh, but um, if you're into 4Xs like I am and strategy games like I am, it's worth a look. All righty. I'm going to save this one in case we come back to go Lizard Empire. Where I'm trying to figure out that you need to act specs where this would be better than our 4Xs. Well, you know, if it's based on an older 26-year design, I don't know if you could do that if unless they were modernizing and adding a whole new dimension to it. But it looks like more like a faithful recreation of the older game, and that's fun for fans. Um, the unique thing is over 200 units. Right? Let's check. Okay, no. 200 spells to research and 196 units. So that's very close. <laughs> 250 unique magical items on 200 units, 200 spells, 60 special abilities, 14 unique wizards. And then you just have at it, Haas. It's a very simple quick uh, type of 4x game this is one that you like if you're trying to guide somebody into it that could be uh, the way to do it though you know without a exhaustive tutorial that takes you hand by hand through it and it, it does there's a small tutorial there uh, you might be a little a little confused at first but yeah it's gotten mixed right now i think it's you know um got some issues what are people saying Devs have made a great effort. Illustrations are wonderful. Super slow loading screens. I didn't really run into that. Generic music, I agree with that. 
No voice actors. Yeah. So what what would you call this? It is a lower budget. It is a sort of a indie game from uh you know a smaller studio kind of thing. It definitely gives off that vibe. Two X expand explore. No, this is four X, right? Because you got expand, you got explore with attacking dungeons, you got exterminate with the combat, and you got exploit with uh, building your your town. So it's a four X. It's a low budget remaster. That's a good, that's a good uh, uh, summary for it. But uh, if you're definitely a fan and played the other ones and you're a fan of 4Xs, you can add this one if you're looking for something new to play. I'd say it's average uh, to below. It's not going to blow your socks off, definitely. That's Master of Magic, my opinion on it. Okay, next. What do we got next? So just catching up on things. We got, I did Snag, I did Masters of Magic. We got Midnight Suns. There's also Gladius. Uh, well, we'll just play, um, what is it, Dark and Darker? Darker. So, do you want to get on Discord? Flippy and Zero? I mean, if we got Flippy and Zero, we got, we got the fucking Dream Team for some, some, uh, Warzone domination, <laughs> but I don't know if I have that long because my girl is supposed to come back at, at some point. Go out to eat. Hello, hola. 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 Uh, Black Adam is now on HBO Max. <laughs> Not like it fucking matters. All <laughs> that stuff is irrelevant now. I don't care no more about that. <laughs> I don't care no more. <laughs> I don't give fucked a shit. Up. You done fucked it up. Wasn't there a raid for Modern Warfare 2 or something? Yeah, I haven't actually, like, I don't even know what it entails. I don't know if there's, like, any mechanics or anything. The raid but. is basically, like, the... Not a great word. I've seen some gameplay on it because the only way that you can get it is by getting, I believe it's top 12 in Warzone. You either get it somehow in DMZ. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you need like a key. And yeah. you get it for like a week. You get access yeah. to it for like a week. It's not even like a persistent thing. Mm, okay. It's a shame. So I don't really want to do that in yeah. COD. <laughs> in all honesty. I just yeah. want to jump in some co-op activity sort of immediately. Yeah, right. and the balance update really didn't help that much. And guess what as well? The um, You know how they said they're going to be in the combat record for season one? Well, oh, they yeah, said they not. need a bit more time to work on it. <laughs> oh, my God. Why is it being so fucking slow? It, feel, it almost feels like, like they don't have the resources, but this is a billion-dollar franchise. A billion-dollar franchise, and keep in mind, mm -hmm. DMZ is supposed to be the one in beta. That's just yeah, it's it's just as bad as Battlefield not coming with the scoreboard, in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> I that's... mean, they got a combat record in multiplayer. Why not on Warzone? And this is the only patch that they're going to do until, the, obviously, the holidays. And we're probably not going to see a, a meaningful patch in February, but I don't expect it to be a significantly better condition until, like, season three or four. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little band aid, that's what it's gonna get. Oh, yeah, and the design team also made it very clear um, to one of the creators because they did a one on one interview that um, they're not gonna add any like movement buffs. Like, say, for instance, even something simple like sprinting while play t plating, they said that that is not uh, how they want to design Warzone 2. So they're making it very low. A low learning gap in turn yeah terms you y'all 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 high level motherfuckers are looking for some bullshit move maneuvers no, no, it's, and not even, it's not even yeah, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, no, like like i i want something so like whenever i play games like in warzone one apex and stuff like that there's some level of a learning curve to where whatever information that you gain from that game mm -hmm. you have it 
to the advantage of others. There's nothing for me to learn in Warzone 2. I can't learn recoil because they have ra literal randomness in it. So no matter if I'm... Uh, if I master the recoil, there's still a random chance that it goes flying in a different direction. It, there's barely any movement to actually learn in it, so it just ends up becoming boring when the when the play style is just a very slow paced thing. Okay. Oh, sorry, a bit a bit more news I just saw. Uh, Hemikiver and Galgado's cameos have been cut out from the flash. Which ones? Uh, Hemikibo and Gagado's cameos you from the Flash. They, they both yeah, had they cameos, go. and now they're just getting cut because of James yep. Gunn? Yep. <sighs> Where are you seeing that? Uh, well, I knew that was going to happen anyway, and I knew that I knew that Henry Cavill had filmed a new cameo in Flash because rumor has it they put took him out of the film and replaced him with Supergirl, and then at the end you get to see him at least. I think, though... From inside sources, I'm hearing he's still on a TV playing on the background. So he's in the film somewhat. He's always been in the film somewhat on a TV in the background. But then he actually did have a real new cameo, and that's the one they're cutting. So we'll even see if the TV thing is true. He might not even be on the fucking TV. They'll have him on the TV with the uh, the uh, CGI'd out mus <laughs> mustache. <laughs> CGI mustache. <laughs> or they'll have him with the motherfucking, um, just a shadow covering his face. It's ridiculous. The thing about the Flash is I was excited to see Keaton's Batman again. Yeah, that's the only the only thing I'm excited about. Batmobile for. again. All right, I'm gonna restart the stream chat so that I get a third video here. Uh, here we go. <laughs> 